Good morning, children. Let's continue the story. Venus time machine. So, what was the story? Venus was living in the year three thousand AD, and there were no food like we have it right now. Is having cereals and sandwiches, and that too made by the. mm machine that is meal maker machine and uh, he not moving in the road like how we use the road transport moving from one place to another or the land transport or the water transport he is not using any vehicle to move from one place to another he directly went into the teleporter and dialed where he has to go and he reached to that place right so this is the story and uh, venus mother was working on a machine which is the time traveler right so this is the story before now we we'll see now what's going to happen so when he sat on the time machine it was vibrating and out of fear he closed his eyes right once he closed his eyes the time traveler started moving and when he open his eyes he was in this place venu was surprised and he could see trees animals birds and he said where i am so he saw the ear in the time traveler and what it is showing 1973 and he saw somebody staring at him and who was staring at him a monkey was staring at him and when he was very happy to see the animals why he was happy to see the animals presently where he is living there is no jungle and there are no animals no birds right so he was very happy to see greenery around and also different animals and which year he was is in the year 1973 if you see here venu is delighted and he search for the bag of nuts he bought it with himself and he gave it to the monkey and soon venu and monkey became friends so once they became friends venu asked the monkey would you like to come with me then monkey just stayed at venu and said okay and he started the time traveler and he pressed the button present and the machine started vibrating once the machine started vibrating the monkey got scared and he shrieked as the chair began to vibrate then once it started he was okay so venu bought the monkey and along with the time traveler they came to the present and he was worried where to keep the monkey and he was happy that her mother was still at the director's office and he got an idea so where did he took the monkey he took the monkey near the place at his house there was a small jungle near his house but here if you see can you see any greenery over here no because animals grazed like goats sheep cow they all ate of the plants because there were no wild animals and they were feeling very free and they ate all the greenery around the forest so what you understand here if the life cycle doesn't go properly we will not be able to survive so the wild animals has to eat the farm animals and the life cycle or the ecosystem will be balanced okay so here he released the monkey and said i will be back you can 
play or be in and around the forest. So Venu went back to his mother's office. Now if you see here, we can see all different types of animals. You can see fox, you can see deer, you can see rabbits and the small monkey which Venu bought it. How all these animals have come children? Yes, Venu started going into the past and coming back to the present. And along with him, he started getting all the animals. So, his place is filled with different types of animals. Right. And one day, he had a special plan. What was the special plan? He wanted to get the tiger. He wanted to get the tiger from the past to the present and he asked the meal maker to give raw meat and he got the meat also. Meal maker didn't understand why he wanted the raw meat but still Venu asked so meal maker has given him the raw meat. So he went into his mother's lap and bought the cage and also meat and he tied the cage to the time machine or the time traveler and the moment he was about to leave his mother came in and he was very worried like what he has to explain to his mom so he said everything to his mom like what he was doing from months time He told his mother the whole story, how he'd been traveling back and forth to bring, to bring back animals from the past to the present world. And he took her mother to show the jungle. And mother saw and she was very happy. And she said, how come the jungle is looking or the forest is looking so dense now? And he said, that's because... I have released a couple of wolves, said Venu proudly. They keep the goats away. His mother was looking at him with a strange expression on her face. You are not going to punish me now, are you? Asked Venu nervously. Of course not, she smiled. But I think we should work together from now on. Really? When he was happy. Yes. Do you plan to bring an elephant all by yourself To She asked laughing. And she said from now onwards we are going to work together and we will bring back the animals from the past to the present. And Venu smiled. It was going to be all right. And the jungle was coming back. So this is our story. Venu's time machine. So what the author wants to explain it to us children. Now what we are doing. Like we heard about dinosaurs. But we never saw them. Because they became extinct so the author is trying to tell us that we should not cut down the trees occupy the forest leave the place for the animals grow more trees save the planet save the animals as now more or more and animals are becoming extinct so we should follow i and follow and get into more ideas of saving the animals. Right? We should not hunt the animals for their skin or for the bone. So, we should be more responsible, plant more trees, save the animals. 
do not use much of plastic save the earth so that we will not live in the present where we cannot enjoy our nature so the author is trying to explain it to us that we should save our planet so that the coming generations can enjoy what we are enjoying right now so it is our responsibility to save the nature or save our planet okay this is our block venus time machine so you all follow the video read the content book and complete the work given in the daily schedule okay i'll see you in the next class bye bye children